How did the FBI unravel this web of political intrigue and international money deals? The cooperating witness has been identified in published reports as real estate developer Solomon Dweck. Dweck led the feds to rabbis, mayors, city council members, as well as state assembly members. CBS 2's Don Daler takes a closer look at who's charged. Among the accused, Eli Ben Haim, principal rabbi of Congregation Ohel Yaakov in Deal, who allegedly laundered $1.5 million by accepting dirty checks from the cooperating witness, reportedly Solomon Dweck, then exchanging those checks for cash supplied by an unnamed Israeli. The cash went back to the government plant, minus the Israeli's fee and the rabbi's 10%. Saul Kassin, chief rabbi of Sharei Zion in Brooklyn, charged with laundering $200,000 with Dweck by accepting dirty checks from criminal activities and exchanging them for clean checks after deducting his 10% fee. Edmund Nahum, principal rabbi at Deal Synagogue, who's charged with laundering $185,000. He and Kassin are also accused of laundering money to create fictitious tax deductions by accepting checks to the charitable organizations, taking their cut, then returning 90% of the money to Dweck. Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano III, charged with accepting $25,000 in cash bribes in return for promising to help Dweck get zoning changes for a high-rise development. Just seven days ago, Camerano allegedly met with Dweck at the Malibu Diner in Hoboken and accepted $10,000 he said was needed to pay campaign debts. Secaucus Mayor Dennis Elwell, who's charged with accepting $10,000 in cash to help Dweck build a hotel. Anthony Suarez, Ridgefield Borough Mayor. He and his attorney allegedly accepted $10,000 in bribes for getting approvals for building developments in Ridgefield. Just a few of the players in a widespread corruption case the FBI describes as truly unprecedented. For these defendants, corruption was a way of life. They existed in an ethics-free zone. Don Daler, CBS2 News.